In a broad sense, a modem is a communication unit which modulates and demodulates a carrier signal. That is why it is called modem. A modulator changes properties of a carrier signal in accordance with the incoming data signal. Demodulator works the opposite way. Actually, any device with such operating principle which ensures data transfer between random terminals through a certain communication channel can be called a modem. However, when we say modem, we usually mean a device which provides communication between computers by means of a telephone line. So what is the function of a modem in providing communication through telephone lines? Data is exchanged between computers with the help of a digital electronic pulses. Only analog signals can be communicated through a telephone line. A digital signal has two values. 0 and 1. In general, an analog signal is a curve, the parameters of which are constantly changing. A modem modulates a digital signal into analog signal at transmission and vice versa at reception. Modems can have an external design. In this case, they are connected to a computer through standard COM and USB ports. Such modems either have their own power unit or they can be powered through a USB port. Modems can also be internal. These are boards which are connected inside the computer unit through expansion slots, such as PCI, for example. Besides, telephone modems can be of hardware type, where the signal is converted with the help of physical elements, that is, processors and ROM, of the device which has a widened program. The modems can also have no ROM. In this case, signal coding and protocol control is performed by a program installed on a corresponding computer. A modem is connected to a telephone line through RJ12 slot. Modems vary in their performance, that is, in the speed of data reception transmission. This value is determined by the amount of bits that the given modem can transmit per second. Thus, bits per second, or BPS for short, is the performance value of modems. Board is a unit of measure named after Emil Bordeaux. He was the inventor of a standard code for telegraphy. It is often considered that a board equals a bit unit per second. However, it is not quite so. Board measures the number of changes of the signal's data parameter per second. This parameter will coincide with the bit per second only at binary coding. At quadrature modulation, four bits of data may be transmitted at each time interval. Thus, values measured in boards and bits per second will differ by four times. Telephone modems and communication enabled by them were widespread during the last two decades of the 20th century. We can say that the Internet was established during the times of modem communication. However, from the beginning of the 21st century, such modems started giving up their positions because of several disadvantages. They have a low speed of data transfer and unreliable communication conditioned by the fact that telephone line to which it is connected is constantly busy. Nowadays, telephone modems in their original sense are practically not used. However, somewhat different devices are being used, for example, DSL modems for dedicated telephone lines, as well as wireless modems which use mobile communication instead of telephone lines.